Chapter 65 Return to the Jade Palace The fun and easy part, in my opinion, of conquering a new kingdom had come to an end. Now it was time for the political and boring parts. Obviously, you can't just defeat the army of S Kingdom and wash your hands, thinking you are done with it. But it was for times like these that I formed an alliance with Shen, so I left everything in his hands. He had been in his throne room, writing hundreds of files and scrolls, because apparently, you can't just announce the new rules and regulations that the kingdom is going to follow. Shen also had to change the constitution of the kingdom and shape it to his liking before he passed down the authority to the previous royals again. My army, on the other hand, was busy creating new cannons with the available resources of the kingdom, so I could not train them yet. That left me no duties on my shoulder. Which didn't mean that I had nothing to do, as I still needed training with my newly acquired ability, which was controlling Qi outside of my body. I will be visiting the Jade Palace to get some training in before our next battle, I said to Shen who was sitting in the throne room of the previous king. The place was filled with different scrolls and paper to paint the image of a scholar's den. How long will you be gone? Shen asked immediately, because even though I said that to him, I was not asking for permission and merely notifying him. As long as you are still busy with all of these, I said and referred to all of the scrolls. A shame, he said with a sad sigh. I rather enjoyed your presence. It is not often for me to do so, as I barely have friends in my life. As far as I know, you are the only one, he said with an earnest smile. Cut the bullshit. I know the real reason you want me to stay is to ensure safety in case the other kings decide to attack before things settle down. I said, perhaps, but who said there has to be only one reason I want you to stay? You don't have to worry about it. We respect the codes of war, and so will they. I said in a firm tone. That is quite naive, coming from you. It's not naive. It's called having an honor, I said, and even if they decided they no longer want to respect the codes of war, they will quickly change their mind on the matter after I drop into their capital city and turn it into hell. I see, Shen smiled. That assures me a little, I grunted in reply, as he should. They will be the ones who suffer if the codes of war are discarded. So what is the main problem that you are having that it made even your mind stagnant? I asked curiously when I saw the dark circles under his eyes. I knew he was working hard, but was it to the point that he didn't even sleep? He sighed. It's everything. I have to make sure everything is perfect so that our empire will not crumble in the future. I need to force order to the kingdom and give the previous ruler his power back, while making sure that they wouldn't rebel in the future. The king might want his revenge, the nobles have their own agenda for the sake of profit, and the citizens are in chaos. Opinions clashed. Shen said with a shake of his head. Sounds rough. It is, Shen said, but he smiled at the end. I like the trouble, though. It's a constant reminder of our success, the first step to the impossible. I just need to implement a new system of government first before anything else, he said with a thoughtful hum. Why don't you let the citizens choose their ruler? I blurted out when I heard he needed a system of government. Shen paused. What? Nah, forget about it, I said with a shrug. The idea of democracy or something similar would be too foreign for them. It was a bad idea. I just named the most popular government of the modern world when he said he needed a government system. No, Shen said, and his eyes went wide and focused. I could literally see his mind working faster than most would even thought possible. Yes. He drawls and nodded. Yes, it could work. Why don't I let the people choose their ruler, he repeated. That will shift their focus, and they would be busy debating on who should rule them rather than if it was a good idea to be under us. It will give them a new thing to chew on. And why not let the noble houses be eligible to be the rulers? So conflicts between them and the king so that revenge against us will be a distant dream. Those nobles will never let go of a chance to rule, of course, they will still be ultimately under us, but our presence won't matter much if we are constantly expanding our empire. I did not think that far, but sure. Anyways, if that's done, I will be leaving, I said. Oh, of course, Shen said with a smile. 
Although the idea of you training when you are already this strong is quite a horrifying idea, I wish you luck. I gave a final nod before I went out of the room and leapt out of the balcony. I leapt into the air and propelled myself upwards and shot across the sky. It didn't take me long to reach the Jade Palace. <sighs> Boom! The ground shook as I did a superhero landing on the training ground. I stood up just in time for the Furious Five and Poe to run out of the training hall to see me. Well, yellow there, juniors. Master Tai Lung, Poe was the first one to run up to me, followed by the others. Oh my gosh, we've heard the news. You are so fucking awesome, Poe said and raised his arm. Tell me, tell me, what was it like? Did you have to go all out, or were the 50,000 soldiers just a warm-up for you? Is it true that the Monkey King is dead? Monkey asked me as he came up from behind. How are the citizens of Shu? Are there any problems with the new administration? Crane asked thoughtfully. Welcome home. Tigress was the only one without question as she folded her arm and looked at me with a smile. I raised my hand to stop all the chattering and questions. They went silent and I stared at them with my intense eyes. You guys are talking a lot. Let's see if you can do more than that. I said, and stomped on the ground as a gust of wind erupted from me, blowing them away. I came back to the Jade Palace to train and what better way to do so than spar with these six. It will not only help me, but help them as well. It's a win-win situation. Besides, I wanted to see how much they improved, especially Tigress and Poe. Instead of telling, let me show you how I took down an army by myself. I chuckled and cracked my neck before I blurred from my position and grabbed Crane's neck. He was the only one that could fly, and the main brain of the team, so he should be taken out first. Why always me? Crane choked out as I slammed him on the ground. The spar training started. 